Hello, good morning. It's a very damp one here in Gloucestershire. Just gonna check that I'm live in the right place. You seem very close this morning. Now it's half term, so I am not sure whether anyone will be joining me this morning. I'm at the new time of 9.30. Um, hopefully somebody will be hopping on. Right, I'm live in the right place. Let's just enlarge that so we can see where we are. If you are joining, please do say hello. It's always nice to know who is here. So yeah, it's very damp this morning. We had a beautiful day yesterday. Beautiful afternoon, the sun was warm. I had um, VV and FZ yesterday afternoon and we were out in the garden, a bit of digging in the vegetable patch. They love digging um, on the trampoline. So it was beautiful. And then this morning, I think I woke up about quarter to five, which is nothing new around here. Um, and then it started raining and it was really heavy and it's kind of not stopped since. So it's a bit grim. We'll use the word grim, a bit grey and a bit grim. So not really the kind of weather you need for half term when you want to get out with the children. So if you saw my post earlier, you will have noticed that I am using the Blessings of Home stamp set today. Um, these are projects that I've had made for quite a while and hadn't done anything with them. So thought I would focus on them today. Now the Blessings of Home is carrying over to the annual catalogue which is good and I'll show you it's in the mini catalogue currently so I think without further ado let's get you down onto my desk make a bit of room I've got stuff to show you as well um got some new in colours to share with you which are quite scary for me so uh yeah don't have Alfie in here at the moment um I've got a little house guest but I'll tell you about that shortly so but first let's get down let's get down to my desk excuse the palm of my hands just as i'm doing that ellie i see you are popping up getting a little sneak of it's not going to zoom today get the light on <clears throat> still got that frog move a few things around get some stamps out of the way Ellie let me try and get my comments up you're going to the cinema this morning and you're going to come back for the replay later that is lovely thank you for stopping by great day for the cinema right I'm going to move I forgot to move my stand back so I'm going to wibble that around for a moment Otherwise, my grid paper is just way too far away. Move these out of the way. So, yeah, it's a bit grey. bit grey and dreary, but nothing we can do about it. I think today is the only rainy day. I think tomorrow's looking a bit better. So, fingers crossed for that so that the children can at least get out in the garden. Just taping this grid paper down. Okay, so you can see the blessings of home. This is the stamp set here, absolutely beautiful. Let me grab my mini catalogue, which is falling apart. The front cover has fallen off and we've got the dies as well. So they're currently available as a bundle. They are beautiful. Look at the samples that have been done. And I'm also using kind of from the collection, the the doilies as well, the heart and home doilies, the papers. I've had a check because these aren't carrying over, but they are still available online at the moment. Um, and the papers are still available. So that's the heart and home DSP, but absolutely beautiful. The dies are very usable. If you have a closer look, you can see you've got two outline dies which work with the main two floral images and then you've got these standalone lovely little floral leafy dies and then these cute little flowers little trio of flowers there so very useful good morning Helen how are you and morning Elaine as well thank you for stopping by how are you all doing how are we 
It's a bit grim, isn't it, out there? Right, before I move on to the projects, let's put those to one side. I've got room in my basket. I'm going to be using the gloves. I'm also using my favourite seasonal labels, um, this part of these dies. Now, just a word of warning, these dies were from the autumn winter mini catalogue the july to december which isn't actually current at the moment but the dies have carried over so you can still actually order these dies so if you go to the stampin up website and put in seasonal labels dies you can actually still order these which is good because i've used them a lot but first here are the new in colors if you if you are on social media quite a bit, you will have seen the new in colours released. People have been sharing them already. They scare me, <laughs> to say the least, but I love them together. How fun are they? I've not, they literally arrived yesterday, so I've not inked anything. I will be later on. I've got some planning to do for a team event and for my catalogue launch party. So I will be playing with them. Um, but I particularly love these two, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. Particularly love those, but oh my goodness, how bright is Parakeet Party? So if you love bright, you will love them. But together, I think they work really well. They're really, really fun. I also got, so as a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order some products. Not all of the in-colour stuff was available. So I grabbed some of the stamping blends because they, you know, they're great to add colour to any images. So um, I grabbed some of those. I grabbed some cardstock as well. I mean, look, it's like, in my theory, this is fluorescent. <laughs> green <laughs> it's scary but i will be trying to use them so this reminds me very much of an old color we had tempting turquoise anybody else feeling that i think my favorite is probably the orchid oasis it doesn't help because i've still got the cellophane on that's that's how i've not had chance the, the, i literally opened the box yesterday and then i had the girls for the afternoon and i took them back home at bedtime so i didn't get home until about half seven quarter to eight ate dinner and then I flaked <laughs> from running around behind them all afternoon. So I haven't got any further as to, as to inking up. But I can share you these, which are beautiful. These are the new in colour six by six papers and this will be the style of the colour collection six by six. So the patterns, but how beautiful are they? So we've got flowers and spots. And then on the other side, adore this. We've got like a plaid. Good morning, Kay. How are you doing, my lovely? You love all the new in colours. Yeah, I need to play with them. They need to grow on me. It's going to be a struggle. Not going to lie on that one. Um, so we've got Sweet Sorbet. Tahitian Tide. These are lovely. Yeah, so as a demonstrator, I was able to early, early order on some of the products. Orchid Oasis. These are just beaut. This is very bright. It, it will just be popping in on things with me. I cannot see me using a lot of colour, but who knows? Never say never, hey? It's so hard when you're such, such a subtle person. To bring in colour but I will do my best to try and then we've got starry sky which is such a lovely it is a blue I feel you know orchid oasis is definitely more purpley um and this is kind of like purpley blue but yeah absolutely lovely papers we'll hide that one underneath so it's not so scary in the packet but even the sweet sorbet it's you know, the ink, when you look at the ink, it comes across very red. So let's see once I play with it. So hopefully this afternoon, I'm gonna be inking those up. Let's put these all away and creating. And I will give you a quick sneak peek of what I'm gonna be creating with later. And it is this. 
Elaine, they are bright. Yeah, definitely an OMG moment for me. Hello, Vicky. Good evening. How are you doing? Let's just have a quick scroll. Ellie, yours arrived yesterday and you got your stickers on last night. Yeah, that's as far as I got. Um, and you were going to compare it with Tempting Turquoise. I may well have some Tempting Turquoise. I need to have a look as well. So, okay, you've got sciatica. Oh, bless you. I, I feel your pain. I've been there and, and put up with that for a long time. Um, and kind of can sympathise with you at the moment. I've got this muscle in my top left leg um, that I've had since I was training to do a race for life, a 10k. That was in 2016 and it kind of comes and goes. I had physio on it, which helped. And I do exercises every morning religiously, apart from the weekends. I do take the weekends off just to stretch it out. But lately it's flared up again and it's really given me grief. It's waking me at night. I don't know which side to lie on because it, it kind of throbs like a toothache. So I do sympathise with you. So sending you some virtual hugs and hope you can get sorted. Vicky, you love the new in colours. They are great. Fab and fun. Helen, you've not done, do, done your order yet, but yeah, look at this. You need this set in your life. So we had um, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator event last weekend weekend just not weekend just gone one before um saturday morning and we had a demonstration of this stamp set and i'd already ordered it anyway it was already winging its way to me but it's photopolymer totally brand new not inked it i'm excited about this one but let me open up the dies for you so yeah so we had this demonstration by kylie and I've stolen her idea of calling my catalogue launch party as my catalogue tea party because I just thought that was such a great idea because I was planning to use this set. Look at these dies. We've got the cutest hearts. We've got flowers that coordinate with this die, I'm presuming, stamp. We have got, this is one stamp here. And then one die that cuts it out. We've got a slice of lemon. We have the whole die that cuts out that, um, that stamp there. I just love it. I love it. And you get a bonus tag as well. We all have a tag, don't we? So I, I cannot wait to use this. Those of you on my team that are on here this morning, we are using this at my team gathering this month. So looking forward to that. Exciting. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Otherwise we'll be surrounded by way too many products. And let us get to the task in hand with the blessings of home. I'm just scrolling before I move on. Yeah, okay, what I need to do, Kay, really is get back in touch with my GP, but I'm trying to... I've got quite a good pain threshold and I'm I'm really good at just putting up with things. But when I had my physio, they told me that there was nothing else they could do for me and that I needed to go back to my GP and have a scan on the area to actually see because I think the muscle damage is so deep that they couldn't get to it. So Tahitian is brighter than tempting turquoise. Well, that is interesting. So... I'm I'm excited to see what other colours I can team things with. So let us say these two, Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis, what colours I'm going to be teaming it with from our current colours as well. I don't, I cannot see me using all of those brights in one go. Um, it will be kind of mixing and matching for me. Okay. Colour combo of the day. Evening evergreen, soft succulent and the lovely craft. So this is the craft paper. You get 20 sheets in here. They're six by six. And this is carrying over into the annual catalogue as well, which is really, really good because I absolutely love this paper. Then, I mean, we say paper. It's not quite as thick as our general cardstock. 
Um, but it's not paper. It's not what I call paper. It's kind of an in-betweeny. And then I've got some of the... Have I put it away? The Heart and Home DSP. I've got a few bits left in here. You've seen me use this a lot. So it's the one... You've got lovely florals and then you've got the, the basic grey kind of wood grains on here. So still got a bit of that left. As I've said, it is still available on the website. It's in the the mini catalog so it's not going anywhere just yet right what i'm going to do first move all these to one side let's fold this while we're here i got the shakes why have i got the shakes today i've had breakfast get like that sometimes i just put it down to an age kind of thing all these things that keep happening to my body. I'm like, it's my age or it's menopausal or something like that. I've got to blame it on something, haven't we? Right, so I thought I didn't cut up this beautiful large stamp here of flowers and leaves. Um, okay, yeah, I will get to the GP. I, I need to get on top of it. Now more so because it is waking me up at night. Right, I don't seem to have myself any basic white. So I'm going to grab a piece out of my shelf. And then I've got two ink colours which have disappeared off of the face of the earth. There they are. So I'm using basic grey and then my trusty memento because I'm also going to be pulling in some stamping blends in soft succulent and pale papaya so i'm going to do a little bit of coloring in. not going to be coloring in the whole flower it's quite a lot um but just some like really simple coloring just to add a bit of color to this image so i'm going to ink this one up because it's such a large stamp i'm going to turn it over and because the memento I don't know if you've those of you that don't have the memento, if you don't have it, you need it. It's such a smaller stamping surface than our regular ink pads. Um, let's get my wet wipe out ready. So I'm going to take my ink pad to my stamp and try not to dip my fingers. I'm going to have a bit of a wobble of the camera because I want to make sure that this stamp is fully loaded because there's lots of kind of detail on it and then we're literally going to just pop it down good firm press and look how stunning that is and it's kind of you can see like the shaded areas that are in here already I'm going to do is trim around that because we've got a lovely dye that will cut it out. Let's bring in our plate. So, how are we all doing apart from Kay, who's suffering with her sciatica? So, it's this large dye here. What have we all been up to? Did you have a good weekend? We had quite a busy weekend, actually. Um, I worked on Saturday morning, which I generally do. And then on Saturday afternoon, I'm looking for my washi tape and I put it away. Saturday afternoon, it was my middle grandchild, Evsy. Her name is Eva, but we call her Evs or Evsy. She was two, which I can't quite believe how she can be two already. Um, it was her birthday party. So we went over there, spent some time with the family, which was lovely. Bless her heart. And Sunday morning, I just cut this one out. It was the F1. So it was the... The Formula One GP, it was on super early. Well, I say super early, I think six, which isn't really super early for us. Um, but we paused it until eight. And then Sophie, my daughter and her boyfriend came round and 
and we watched it together. So, because it's always, Alex really likes the F1 and so does Sophie, so we watched it together. Let's just put that on there. Can you see how lovely that is? I did quite a good job of lining that up. So, yeah, so that was kind of, we did that and that was finished by about 10, 10.30. And then we went down the lane with the dogs, which was lovely. Had a lovely one. It was a beautiful morning on Sunday. Then didn't really have much of an exciting day. We did the food shop. And just looking to see what I've got over here. We did the food shop. We, we did a garden centre visit. I did do a bit of gardening as well. I um, was digging out my compost bin. I'm going to do a little bit of colouring. Actually, I'm going to set... I'll leave the colouring for five minutes. I'll set that to dry for a moment. I want to do something else. So I've got my base card here, but then I've also got another layer of Evening Evergreen, and this measures three and three quarters by five and three eighths. What I want to do on this one is a little bit... Grab everything out of my basket. A bit of clear embossing. So if you're struggling to find our embossing powders, they're in the annual catalogue. They are on page 128. And they're up here. Now, to point out, there are two different colours that you can get. So you've got three, three little tubs like this in each set. And then you've got a basics one, which comes with black, clear and white, which is a really handy one to, to have. And then you've got a metallics one where you get copper, gold and silver. And they're definitely worth investing in because they do last quite a while. Surprising how far they go. So I wanted to do a little bit of clear embossing, but with the other florally image in the set. So, going to pull in, let's find a scrappy bit that isn't too, too grubby. And carefully take off the lid. I haven't decanted this into a bigger container, that's what I normally do. I'm going to open up, oh that's a nice clean Versamark, apart from that bit of fluff on there. I'm just going to ink up what I'm going to do first, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is add some, a bit of dust from my embossing buddy. And I'm just going to pop a bit up in the top. And then down in the bottom. Just to reduce the static that could be happening. Facebook has thrown me out but you're all still there. And I'm just gonna ink up the top part of this flower. And just randomly stamp. And do it again on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. And I have to rub off that white as well. Put the lid on. Move it to one side. Move that embossing buddy out of the way. And then I'm just going to pour on some of the clear powder. And tap it off. Now I didn't do this on my original. It was kind of a plan that I had last night when I was just preparing these kits. And then what we can do is just tip that back into our container, move that to one side, and I'm just gonna make sure that there's no dust left on there. I'm gonna pop my heat tool on so it, it will be noisy to start with, but then it kind of blanks it out. And we'll just heat this up. I'm 
and hope that we can get that white off of the background. Can you see it turning? Now this gives a similar effect to what I've done on my original. Hoping you can hear me. I think you can. And I literally stamped in Evening Evergreen onto the Evening Evergreen cardstock. And it gives the same effect, but this is definitely more vibrant. I love how it turns. I can never turn my heat tool off. The button is stiff on it. So hopefully you can see. Now we've got all this white powder going on, but we can kind of like brush it off. I just want to let that set for a moment. Can you see you get kind of a shimmer with that? So simple heat embossing. And let's do a bit of colouring in quick. And then we've got some die cutting to do, a little bit of die cutting. So might just zoom you in a teeny weeny bit. If I can. And then we're going to pull in the soft succulent, light and dark, and the pale papaya. I keep moving my grid paper. A bit of washi tape to come undone. So, I'm gonna start with the dark this time. Normally I start with light, but I'm gonna start with the dark and just use the bullet tip Take the lid off ready of my light. And I'm just going to add colour to the centres. Now, you've watched me colour before. I am no expert on doing this. I just kind of do what I think. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour and then pull, pull it out with the pail to kind of soften the edge. So I can do that on there as well. And then I go back in with the dark, kind of following the shaded areas and then go back over the edge to kind of, so that the edges aren't so harsh with the pale and kind of blend the two together. So just add a bit of color to the center and then on the edge of it, kind of pull it out to take away kind of the harsh edge. So I'm not, you could colour in the whole of these flowers, but that wasn't my plan. This is quite a quick way of, of adding colour, but just like subtle colour as well. I think I might just go very softly around the outside of there and add a bit of extra colour to the centre. So I've definitely got dark, haven't I? Yes. So I'm going to put dark in the centres and then just add pale around the outsides. So yeah, Sunday we did the garden centre, we came back and then late afternoon we actually did some gardening, uh, dark. And I was digging out my compost bin. So we have been here over four and a half years actually it'll be five years in august i can't believe that um and i've never used any of the compost from my compost bin i've got two composts but there's one that i kind of use mainly for like um leaves of vegetables and stuff like that that goes in it the other one we mainly put leaves and grass in um and digging it out. I was warned it would be a bit of a task because you have to kind of dig out the bottom because you don't want the top the top surface because obviously it's not been mulching down for very long. So yeah, it was hard work and I, I thought I was gonna suffer really the next day, but I was okay. I didn't have a massive bad back. I always have a bad back anyway, an achy back in the mornings. Can you see, I'm just gonna pull this up, just how I'm just like pulling the colors together. 
that I had such a sense of achievement after I'd done it because I kind of took half of it away, the bottom half. Um, I don't need to colour all of these flowers. I took the bottom half and pushed the top through then. So now like I've got plenty of room in my compost bin to, to layer with more, more goodness. So, and then I popped, I did about five wheelbarrows of it. It's quite a lot. It's surprising how much I, I dug out. Um, and then I put it all onto my beds that I've been hoeing. So yeah, sense of achievement. I just need to get a bit of extra um, manure down there and we'll hopefully be one away. Emptied out my greenhouse because we had some of the garden furniture in there. Well, I think that's it for this colour. Um, had a bit of a tidy up in there, but need to get the power washer down there and kind of clean all the glass off and, and get it looking pretty because you know what it's like with damp weather, you know, the, the glass goes a little bit green. So not looking so pretty down there. Are any of you, do you do gardening? Have you got greenhouses or do you do any growing? Sorry, I'm just scrolling, trying to scroll the comments and see what I'm doing. It's not easy. Right, so let us start with the pale, the light soft succulent. And I'm literally just kind of coloring in where stamping up if I stand up and show you can you see like the shading this dark area of shading that's what I tend to go with so wherever they put a bit of shading that's where I add a bit of color of course like I've said you could color in the whole of the leaf if you wanted to the whole of the flower but quite often I feel with the blends we don't need to do that we just need to add like a bit a bit of color it's painful having to watch me color this isn't it oh i just colored in a petal that's going to be hidden <laughs> get a bit carried away coloring in things in the wrong color so i'm just literally you can see this is so random and scruffy and then with my dark just going to add a little bit, like a little kind of just accent of dark, nothing major, just to give the leaves like a bit of a two-tone effect. And I'm not going to bother kind of pulling it in with the pale because once it kind of absorbs into the, the white, the basic white. It kind of sorts itself out. I don't know if anybody else finds that. Depending on what you're doing. Oh, I was nearly colouring that petal again. So it kind of looks a bit scruffy, but when it dries, I'm feeling tempted just to pull those bits a little bit. They were a bit, the, the lines are a bit harsh. So just kind of blend them together a bit. Right, that's our colouring done. And I always recommend, let's go out a little bit. Always recommend that you cut out your shape, whatever you're doing, before you colour in. Because if you spend 10 minutes colouring in something beautifully and then you go to cut it out and it slips in your cutter, yeah. It's a bit of a waste of time, so. Right, I wonder if I can rub off some of this white. It does work. So I've just got this, look, at, let's break it apart. This was what I had on the bottom of my take your pick tool, just so that it doesn't get ruined in my container. I'm just gonna take off. I'm going to go gently over the top and just take off some of that white powder. Helen, you would love a greenhouse. 
I know, that was the one thing that I was super excited about when we viewed this house. And um, we weren't actually sure if the, the previous owners were going to leave it, but they did. And it's, it's a really good quality greenhouse, quite a big one too. It's taken a bit of the shine off of that, so just be careful. Right, I need to get rid of all these rubbings. Straighten my grid paper back up because it's totally come unstuck. So I'll just wait for that catch up. But that has rubbed off the white. Right, I think we're straight. Yeah, very lucky. I've got a huge greenhouse down there and a lovely huge um like fenced off vegetable garden okay a tumble dry sheet would remove the powder residue thank you so much that's a great tip i don't have any tumble dry sheets but i guess it's something to have handy i have heard something about using those as well but the, the rubber worked okay it's just maybe taken a bit of the shine off of it i'm wondering if i had a tissue whether that would buff it back up but it's fine it's it's the look that I wanted kind of subtle but there right the next thing I want to do put that to one side is take this piece of craft paper move you out of the way and I want to cut this large shape from the seasonal label. So it's the largest one out of all of these. So we'll run that through quickly. What else do I need to do? Let's have a look. I've got another scrappy piece here. Let's trim that off. Because we don't need all of that and it will give us a bit more room on our plate. It's a bit bendy. Let's give it a gentle bend the other way and then in the soft succulent from the flowers of home dies i've used this lovely foliage and this little one i think but any would do let's move that chair out of the way and we'll just run those through quickly you're a bit close to the edge. The only thing, I mean, I love my gardening, but it's kind of a bit of a labor of love. It's a lot of work and I think I did underestimate just how much work it is. But I love my greenhouse growing. You know, peppers and cucumbers and salads and tomatoes. I love, love doing that. Um, but it is all about soil prep in the main garden as well, because last year I had a few things that just failed. They didn't happen. I planted a row of carrots and only one carrot came through. We had a bit of a joke about, you know, we were going to be fighting over it or let's hope it's a big one that is big enough to share. I did plant another row in another part of the garden and they came up really well. So yeah, garden can be a bit of hit and miss. And then of course, you know, mother nature and her creatures like to eat what we plant as well. So even though my, my kitchen garden is all fenced off, the pigeons, they're the worst. The pigeons get in and like to nibble. Okay, so we've got this lovely craft label. What else do I need? I think that's all the die cutting. Let's do a little bit of stamping. So I've got a strip of basic white from my scrap bag. And on this one, I love long greetings like this because they're really good for kind of chopping up. I'm gonna use the basic gray ink. Ink it up. It feels like it needs re-inking. Stamp that down. Now I could just kind of could have just 
stamped that on a strip. But I thought I would show you From the Give It A World Eyes, this lovely little banner. I would love to have a punch that did this. Anybody remember the word window punch? Let me grab mine. Look how loved it is. It's even lost its picture. Does anybody remember that? Anybody still got that? Absolutely adored punches like that. We have another one, but I don't remember its name. Um, but just really handy. But you might be looking and thinking, well, that's not going to fit. It's not long enough. So I just thought I'd show you a little tip. You've prob you probably know exactly how to do this. But for those of you that don't, I'm going to show you a little tip. I'm going to lay my die down. Have it straight. And I'm going to tape it down. I'm going to run it through my machine. Now I have to think about this because I want to put it in that way. And what I'm going to do is place my top plate. So this is my top plate. But I don't want it to cut this edge here. Can you actually see? Yeah, I don't want you to I don't want it to cut this edge. So I'm going to place my top plate in like that so that when I roll it through and it gets to here it stops cutting because I don't want to cut off that word so bear with me while I do that and show you so you can see it's partially cut this greeting like that and then what I'm going to do is pop it back on just give it another bend and line up this bottom part of the die with my greeting but you can actually you can kind of get this into the ridge so if you lay it on top so you can you want to follow this line with this line. You want it to be straight. So if you put it on and press it down, you can actually feel, let's line that bottom, that it's, it's in that ridge of the line that I pre-cut. So it's not, it's not going anywhere, but it's in line, fingers crossed, she says. And I'm gonna run that back in and do exactly the same. So the edge of my plate must not go over the edge of the die. Sometimes the brain doesn't work properly and you realise that you've gone over the cut bit that you shouldn't have. Gently pull that off. And then we have an extra large banner. So little tip for you on that one. You've probably seen it before, but sometimes it's making things work to fit what we have. So we've got that little greeting. If you are joining, please say hello. It's already lovely. Nice to know who, who lovely people are here. Good morning, Belle. How are you? You're late, but you made it. I haven't caught up with you yet. I had the girls yesterday afternoon, so it was super, super busy. We, we seem to fit in a lot in the afternoon. I was saying earlier, we, they came around half 12. We did digging in the garden. They love to dig. Did some digging in the garden. We were out on the trampoline. We crafted, of course. Even Evsy, um, she did more colouring, really, than crafting. But Vivi loves to make cards. But she always makes cards for other people. She's so sweet. She makes something and she loves to put it in an envelope and stick a sticker over it to seal it. And then she says it's for one of her friends, which is really sweet. Right, I'm going to start building up this. What I want to do first, though is I'm going to take my bone folder and just curl this corner over slightly like that. And then I'm going to pop on some dimensionals. 
Hello, Mary. How are you doing? It's nice to have you on the live. Thank you for stopping by. Perfect die cutting, Kerry. Yeah, it went okay, didn't it, Kay? Okay, okay. It went fine because you know what live stamping is like? Anything can happen, can't it? Anything. You know, but we're only human. If things go wrong, you know, that's the way it is. I'm just popping. I just want this layer to kind of stand out a bit from my base because obviously they're both the same colour. And I'm going to pop that straight down on. Like that. And you can see it just, you have that bit of lift. Then... I'm going to add on my lovely label. Bit of Tombow on the back. And pop that one straight down on the middle. I've got a little 3D treat to share with you after. I've already done colouring, so you don't have to endure that. Eyes don't seem to want to work very well today just been so tired lately Jason is as well and he's got really bad hay fever at the moment really bad hay fever so it's kind of really dragging him down then I've got my two little strips of the heart and home paper I'll measure this one for you it is three and five eighths by one inch seven eighths of an inch even I thought that was going to be a one so seven eighths by three and five or anything from your scrap bag. Um, you missed a couple of lives with the change of daylight saving and it coincided with dinner, bless you. Well, it's lovely to have you here. Just give my glasses a clean, I'm not seeing very well. <laughs> oh, the joys of getting old. We've got the pick a punch range to do the ends. Yes, perfect for that. I've only got one of those. So Belle is talking about this here, okay, which um, you can see the two patterns that it cuts on the end and then you can put in different widths of cardstock, which is super fun. don't know if I've got one that will fit exactly. Um, yeah, no, that didn't work. Let's let's try that for another time. <laughs> I should have turned it out the other side down, so other other way around, so I could see what was going on upside down. So yeah, three and five eighths by seven eighths of an inch, or anything from your scrap box. And then this one is slightly shorter at three and three eighths by about three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> Quick drink. My throat is very dry. And then I'm going to pop this straight down, bang in the middle of this label. So it's just shorter than the evergreen layer here. Are we straight? I think so. And this one is then gonna go on after but first but first we need to do this one just gonna give it a little curl I don't want to put another dimensional underneath it so just by adding and then adding a bit of curl and then bending it in the middle it will give the effect it will flatten out after time and then I'm just gonna lay this down on the middle I'm just gonna put Tombow on the center and then just lay it at an angle. Something like that. Kind of almost diagonally. I generally use my punches upside down bell, but I just thought, oh, I've got a strip of paper here. Let's try it. And it, it was a big fail. You're the queen of wonky. <laughs> Sometimes my eyes see straightness really clearly and then other days I stick things down and then when I look back I'm like goodness gracious that was not straight at all next I'm going to add on this 
bit of DSP, which is going to hide the part that I didn't colour in specifically. And we'll just have it a little bit lower. Like that. Just to break up this centre flower. <clears throat> and... Pop some minis. Better have four on here because it's quite a large one and we don't want it sagging. And then we'll pop this one across the middle. That one didn't want to go away. Somewhere about there and then we just add in these couple of bits of foliage and I did pull out my my polished dots somewhere they must be in my basket and I didn't know whether I might pop a couple of those in I'll see just put a teeny weeny bit of Tombow under there One coming out there. And then one coming out the opposite side. Where's my take your pick gone? Put it away. Move you over a bit. Like that. And that's it done. But I'll see what it looks like with maybe a couple of the polished dots because I'm trying to use them up. Sorry, trying to um, scroll comments. So these are the polished dots. Might just pop a couple on. They are still available. I had a look this morning. And um, we might just have might be too much but we won't know until they're down and then maybe a little one up there or do we want it a bit lower oh where'd you go <laughs> upside down oh gosh it's stuck to my putty that's okay. Don't think that's too much overkill. So we've got a little bit of shimmer. Don't think it's showing up very well. But I could re I I know some people don't like dark bases and and me probably being one of them, but there was something about there's my original. So I just literally stamped this background. Can you see how much more it stands out? This was done in Evening Evergreen, so you've got like a tone on tone, which is very subtle in itself. This one definitely pops more, and I've added quite a bit more colour, especially in these flowers down here. So, yeah, for, for me, who loves a lot of white space, um, I was slightly nervous when I was creating this with so much dark as my base. But I actually love it, really, really love it. So it's glad how it turned out. Bell, top tip for embelly packets. Cut a slither off the side and then slide them in and out without opening the gluey edge. Very good point. So you mean cut this off here? Good point. I know, I need a better way of storing my embellishments. Although I do use... Let's get my... I have one of our large cases which sadly we don't sell anymore but this is really handy for kind of keeping them all in it's quick access you know what we like we all love our storage don't we it's always good to, to share tips on storage as well right i need to just go over to the other table and grab the next things for the next project And we're going to start with this.
good old fashioned toilet roll. I mean, not any old toilet roll. This is a who gives a crap because that's what we have in our house. I have a lot of things delivered, like cleaning products. Um, I have my dishwasher and my laundry tablets. I have small, so they come in the post. So I don't have to buy anything like that. And we have the toilet rolls delivered. And I use Colton Willow for all of my cleaning products and so my washing up liquid. They come in beautiful glass bottles. Um, obviously, they're very plant-based because we've got um eco cesspit here we've got a clargester so we cannot use bleach in the house anywhere nothing nasty no chemicals everything that we use has to be kind of natural plant-based so and i'm pretty good on that you know my shampoos and everything i buy are all all plant-based um and still lovely so we're starting you have to look that one up board on the loo go there <laughs> I'm not the kind of person that uses my phone whilst I'm in the bathroom. I will just point that out. But this is what I've pulled together. I'm going to close up that ink pad for a minute. And I made this, as, as I said, a very long time ago. I've got loads of bits here that I've rubbed off. So I hope that this that I'm going to make is going to come together as it should. I've remade it. I've got two versions, the very original version and then the version I've made for you today. Um, but I just wanted to show you just something fun and something that we've all got hanging around in the house. Um, and I, do, I think, I don't know, but I feel that this is shorter than your average toilet roll middle. I'm going to measure it and then you can all run, run, don't run off now, but later go and measure yours. Three and seven eighths. I'm sure they're bigger. Or is it that kind of thing, like with the chocolate bar, that you remember a Mars bar being so much bigger than it actually is now? Or was it just because we were smaller? Right, Kerry, enough waffle. So I'm gonna start by covering this toilet roll middle with a piece of cardstock. So it measures three and seven eighths and I think I've just done a random, cut a random long piece. Now I don't need all of that. So I'm going to make a little cut there and just trim it off. I'll try and round it off to a number. It's about six inches on mine. And that just kind of wraps around so I'm just going to kind of manipulate my cardstock a bit just to break some of the fibers down just so that I can kind of roll it around this roll Mary you love the evening evergreen yeah I really do I re I was never really a green fan but now I'm just so drawn to it if you've got double-sided tape this would probably be quicker if you've got our tear and tape but I'm just going to pop this straight on here let's try and get it straight just hold it for a minute and this is just like a fun fun treat treat packaging these are really super strong as well and then we just roll that around Add some more Tombow, I'll add plenty because I don't want it popping undone. And then we just hold that down for a minute. Now I've got the sniffs. How are we doing for time? Gosh, it's half past 11. I said to Sophie, is that half past 11? Half past 10, goodness. I said to Sophie I'd only be about an hour. So I have a little house guest or two. Um, Sophie's staying with us for a week, maybe a bit longer, 10 days, maybe even two weeks. And she's brought Archie, her puppy, with her because Alex, her partner, is doing their bathroom. So I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors. They have no bathroom and I don't think I've actually physically broadcast it to the world. She has, they have... Um, 
but she is expecting a baby in October, which is super, super exciting. So it's their first child. And obviously she needs a bathroom at the moment. She is coming up 15 weeks, I think, tomorrow maybe. So yeah, for those of you that, are, that remember, you need a toilet close to hand. <clears throat> right, enough talking about toilets and toilet rolls. Now I figured out there's quite a few different things that will work in this, this little pouch. In my original that I did, I think I used one of these. In the one that I've done, that, I, that I'm kind of copying, I actually used something else. Um, I think it was a Bueno. But this, one of these would work in here as well. I don't know which one I'm going to use today. I might stick with the Ferrero Rocher. But that would sit in there kind of nicely. I was trying to think of what different things you could put in here. You know, you could wrap up jewellery and put it in here. Um, and if you just want, like, treats, you know, just to give something to someone, cereal bars would work nicely in here as well. So just have a play around with it. As you can see, those would work fine as well. But I think I'm going to stick with the, the Ferrero. A bit of a tighter fit. Let's just have an even. And we want it to sit. Don't know why it's doing that. That's it. So we want the join kind of on the bottom. We just want it to not roll around. She said, I think it's just rolling over the join. And then once you've got your goodie inside, Actually, I ought to check the date on these just to make sure. Oh, got another month because then I can gift it to someone because once it's done up. So I kind of want them central. Want it centrally in there. We'll leave it like that and see what happens. And then all I'm going to do, this is, I've got loads of this tissue. I use this for wrapping kits and gifts for people. Um, but you could use any any kind of tissue that you've got. And you can buy so many beautiful patterns of tissue now. So I'm literally going to roughly measure how much I want and then just chop off a piece. I'm just gonna follow the dots and try and go as straight as I can. These are my big old stamping up scissors. So you can see you don't need very much to do this. So let's pop that back in there. Oh, we'll worry about which way it's going in a minute. And have it central. <laughs> it's trying to get away from me. And then roll it. I think we're kind of central. Check your ends are kind of central. A little bit of glue there, literally just to hold that. Thank you, Mary. Yes, it's super exciting. So that'll be my fourth grandchild. Goodness gracious. Very lucky. It's wanting to roll that way. This will only matter when we come to tie the ends. And then I've cut myself a strip from the Heart and Home paper. I've cut myself a strip just slightly shorter of my toilet roll middle. Um, and I'm going to stick that around as well. So I do not need the whole of this piece. So I'm going to trim a piece roughly there, which should be around about six inches, which means that I'm left with another piece the same to do another cracker with later. Let's put that out of the way. And we'll just add some Tombow. Stick that bit down first. Just hold it for a moment. And then roll it around. And then add a bit more glue just to make sure 
it stays and then try and have these pieces lining up neatly just hold that for a moment and ideally this bit wants to be on the bottom but it won't hurt if it's not so love this wood grain paper okay i think that's okay and then what we want to do is take I'm looking for it and it's hiding so this is the elegant trim or simply elegant trim it comes in the duo pack of gold and silver and all I want to do is take so it's not stretchy we used to have this in elastic roughly how much do I want Cut two pieces the same and hope that they're long enough. It seems to go a long way, this trim. I'm going to pop it underneath. Let's have it sitting. Let's let it roll and do its thing. Okay, it's quite happy there because I want my knot to be at the top. So I'm just going to tie and I know there's a bit of packaging somewhere here and just pulling it really tight. Way too much trim here. Oh, wastage, but I want them quite long. So I've just done a double knot in there and then we'll turn it around. Now the cracker has kind of moved a bit because I've pulled, pulled it. So I don't know if it's going to go back in. Maybe it will when I, that didn't happen the first time I did it. Can you see I've got all that green edge there. I don't know if I can get in there and push without ripping it. I just want to push the toilet roll in a bit. That's it. Just so I've got at least a little bit of green. It'll probably go back in the other way when I tie this piece. So both knots facing up at the top. And this is because I've done a different, I've got something different on the inside of here. So I'm getting to the edge of my packaging. I need to go over a bit. Sorry, you probably aren't even in view. Pull it tight. and then tie a knot and then kind of ruche these out so they look neat. Trim that bit off a little. And then if you find where you pulled it, you've got one end longer than the other, you could always trim a little bit off. Nobody will ever know. Let's just check comments. And then I've got a little bit of an odd overhang there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And on my original, I used this die here. That actual die, the smaller one, that one there. But I thought I'd try something different by using, you know how much I love these dies. Um, yeah, Sarah, it is quite cute. And remember, I've just shoved in some chocolate, but you could put something nicer in there. You know, if you were buying someone a nice pen, that would be great inside there. Um, I thought I would cut with this one. Is that the one? Yeah. And what I did, I ran it through my die cutter machine with a narrower piece of cardstock. And I ended up with this shape. So from my hexagon, so I just cut a narrower width. So I ended up with a different size label. So another little tip there, that a hexagon doesn't just have to be a hexagon. And then I've pulled out some of the doilies. I was talking about these earlier, the heart and home doilies, which are in the mini catalog. 
They come in Misty Moonlight, which is one of our retiring colours. They come in Basic Grey and Cinnamon Cider, which is another colour. But they are white on the back. So absolutely adore these. I don't know whether they may carry over to another mini catalogue. I don't know. We never can tell, but they could be going. So I think this is something that you should stock up on. They're just great for layering on your cards. And all I want from here is like a little slither. And then I did this one earlier, so you didn't have to painfully watch me colour everything. And what do I need on here? I'm going to chop into it. I think it's going to chop off this top part. To leave I can use that bottom part for something else but I don't it's too big for my project um, I think we'll have that as well yeah it's too big for this cracker so that can be used could even use that on this project as well but I just want this piece here and what I'm gonna do is lay that over the top. Let's put some Tombow on that side. And how low do I want it? Let's have a bit more greenery coming out. It's quite big. Don't want it to be too big. Got Tombow on me now. Just wipe my hands. I think we'll leave it like that. And then this little one, we'll just pop underneath like that. And then we need a greeting. And I thought I would use from the same set What a Beautiful Day for Love. Let's find some scraps and then I'll bring back in my basic grey ink. I'll show you the original that I used. Um, what I used instead of this tissue because we had the... What was it actually called? Let me see if I've got it here. Probably put it away with all of my retired stuff. Yeah, not to hand. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but let's just get a scrap. Right down with my scrappy bit. It's hiding. Oh, there it is. You know when you can't see something for looking? Let's just pop this on here. I just don't want to ruin this whole sheet of grid. And I'm going to stamp beautiful day. This definitely needs re-inking. And then from this one that I used just now, we'll use the have a. And we'll just snip out have her. You went with the Eden's Garden speciality paper. Oh, it went with, yes. Yeah, I just can't remember its exact name. It was the tissue. I don't know whether it was called tissue. It was in Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. And I was going to run a class with these projects and then life got in the way and it didn't happen hence i thought i must recycle them today so i'm just snipping around might be better to use these long scissors on this one
definitely got the shakes today. Don't know why. Must be lacking in something. Sleep, probably. That'll be the one. <laughs> Thanks to that dodgy muscle. What with the dodgy muscle in my leg and the one in my arm from where I slipped over in my veg garden last summer. I'm a right mess, aren't I? Got blue on there and I don't want that on there. So have a beautiful day. That looks a bit crooky, but we'll go with it. Go into pop. Yeah, it was gorgeous tissue paper. I think it had quite a lot as well in, in a pack. It was 12 by 12. I know I've still got it, but I think I've just put it away in like my retired section to use another time. This is quite a bit bigger than my original greeting in the middle, so I'm hoping it's going to look okay and not too big on my cracker. Laying those down. trying to get them straight and they keep moving actually i'm going to pull you down a little bit so you're even with the top and then i should have done this before but i'm just going to give these a little curl just noticed add a little bit of color just to those that i'd missed Let our cracker sit where it's feeling comfortable and then literally tombow on there. It's doing a bit of a rock, but let's pull it this way a little bit. Try and get it straight. This toilet roll in the middle is quite big. It's quite strong, but this is a bit bigger than my original. But I think, as a little ensemble, such a sweet gift. Very, very inexpensive. Very easy to put together. Quite pretty. Might have been nicer if you tied bows. Um, what are you saying? You wish Stampin' Up! would bring back the large scissors. Yeah, these were fab, aren't they? I've got two pairs, actually. One in my sewing box, and then I've got these. But just scissors with a long cutting edge are so handy, aren't they? So, yeah, I thought that kind of worked. My original, let's show you my original. This was the original I made. So the tissue is kind of more papery. Um, and then I used, oh, I've just realised I've not put some die cuts on there. I can do that later. Um, I just, I covered up the whole thing. I didn't have to, I think I've got Ferrero Wash in here as well. I didn't have to cover the toilet roll because it's hidden inside because this isn't sheer. This is my original that I made a couple of days ago. So... You can see because this tissue paper is quite sheer and see-through, um, I needed to cover up my toilet roll holder, toilet roll middle even. But yeah, I was really pleased with how it came out. So, you know, it's that little gift that you just want to give to someone that, you know, needs a bit of love at the moment. Something really simple, something very inexpensive inside. But um, how sweet. And the idea came, my sister gave me for Christmas. We don't buy presents. We, we just buy for the children. Um, she made me a cracker from fabric. It was absolutely beautiful. She stitched this, lined this cracker and inside put me this very bougie face mask. Um, and I just thought how lovely and I've kept them. And she had a lining, like a tube in the middle. She She's a bit posher than me. She didn't use a toilet roll middle. She had these lovely boxes. Actually, they were tubes with a lid on. Um, and she'd put money in for the children. So, yeah, I just think such a lovely 
lovely gift so if you've got some of that tissue paper left hanging around you could kind of create that um but i do feel very tempted now to create a white base try this card but with a white base as opposed to you know layering it with a bit more white to kind of bring the two projects together so yep really really pleased with how how it turned out very simple i think there's some kind of like bueno bar inside here but just the possibilities are endless aren't they what you could get in there i know you're all going to be stashing away your toilet roll middles now aren't you to have a go um so yeah really really cute really pleased with how they turned out absolutely adore the blessings of home stamp set really pretty um just simple but pretty and some lovely greetings in there as well so obviously you've got thank you that you could just mask off you don't have to use the for inspiring me so yeah really lovely set as i said carrying over to the annual catalogue which is good so we are at five to eleven feeling the need for a coffee i have got some new product to play with but first i've i've got all my kits lined up to get out for my six card class so everything is die cut and ready and embossed just got to like sort them and pack them which i love doing so bell you like this stamp set too yeah it's a great one isn't it the next one on my list will be its neighbor in the catalogue which is the honeybee home that's another one that i really really want as well because i love bees um, but just look at the samples got that lovely hive embossing folder so yep lovely lovely set to play with i'm not sure how it would work with those new in colors they'd be very bright vibrant bright bright flowers wouldn't they so yeah watch this space for those in colors coming your way anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you i'm gonna go over and see sophie and Archie and Alfie, um, grab a coffee and then I'll be heading back over here to the studio for the rest of the day to play with those new in colours. And of course, this lovely little bundle as well. So thank you so, so much for stopping by. It's always lovely to have you here. Um, I love, love the interaction. And as I said, it feels like you're here with me. So please take care, everybody. Hopefully tomorrow's going to be a bit brighter with the weather and we can get out and about a bit more. Um, you have a lovely day as well, Kay. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. So bye for now.